Okay, let's start sewing in. It's possible my thread is too thin. We're going to see. So here's what we're doing. Going in to the top hole. Pulling through, leaving a tail. We're going to, um, hi. Put the paper where we want it, roughly. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Everything's great. Go around these threads here. Again, let's make sure we got enough of a tail. It's far more than I need, but and then back in through the hole. I'm gonna tie a knot. Again, we're gonna make sure that this. Not as tight, but not too tight. Trying to tie a square knot and then forgetting which way you just crossed it. Great. If only I had a video I could review. <laughs> it's probably not the right way. Then you're going to come through the second hole. around the paper, or around the paper, around the threads, back in, through this hole, that's it, over and over, so, first one, it's going to be the toughest in one way, you're kind of establishing your tension, getting everything where you want it. And then after that, it's tough because, you know, the book is in your way. <laughs> so I'm going to put this here now. I'm pulling it. I'm doing a great job at not touching the paper. That's a, that's a lie. back and then around these and now that's the first one in.
So, now we just add the rest. No big deal. That's the easy part, obviously. So I think I want to stuff something under here so this stays up. That totally worked perfectly. I'm going to take the next thing. And we're going to add our new paper by going in through here. Wait, is this right? It feels right. Kind of feels loose. Okay. Thing I should be able to do, but I may have sewn too tightly, is fold this back but keep this up. You can see it, it doesn't want to go, so I'm not going to force it. So I'm going to raise this a little, it'll make it easier for me. Um, okay, raised it up. So I, I did have this right. Go through here. Come through the next hole. This might be easier for me. Uh, go behind the threads and you go in the direction you're sewing. So I'm sewing this way so I go behind the threads in that direction. Then I go back into this hole. needles are like fiddly and awful but also kind of magical so I have conflicting feelings about them not magical but they're pretty cool um, so we went around the threads I came out and went around the threads in one fell swoop But I am not managing. There we go. Oh, look at that. Split the thread there. Not a good thing. For a minute, I thought like, oh, maybe instead of doing what he does and skip every other one, I'll just sew through every one. Um, and now that I'm doing this, I'm very glad I didn't decide to do more sewing than is strictly necessary. Hello, what do you, no, you don't go under there. You can see. Are you in the thread? Um, 
sorry, I keep hitting you in the face. Pull on that a little to tighten it. So if you want to go do this in two steps, out through a round thing, blah, 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 totally can. Now, I think what I'm going to make sure I'm doing is keeping this like low. Now we'll add the next one. I find it easier to go around the threads or to do the curved needle in one direction. No matter what it is I'm sewing, I've, I typically have found that to be the case. Not sure why. Wow, where was that needle going? It wasn't going out. There we go. So when I'm not, normally if I'm doing a thing like this, I'd be listening to my audiobook, but I can't be because I'm, I'm filming. So I'm about to stop filming so that the next 10 hours of me sewing, I can have some background noise for myself. Find out if it was the Pizziolo who did it. I'm inclined to think that it wasn't. But all sources point to him. There we go. So I will snug these up. That is three signatures sewn in. And now I just have uh, this many more to go. No problem. It's later now and I finished my book. So 
think you can get it to open. I had it fully with this laid back. I had to wiggle it a little, but it got there. But it does open totally flat. It's not perfect, but I'm pretty well pleased with it. So I'm actually going to make, this is from one of the papers that's in there. I'm going to cut this to size so it can be used as a guide underneath the sheets so you can have lines to write by and after I do that I'm gonna put it in a bag and send it away so that's the project thanks for seeing me through